who spent a lot of time here this year. I uh, used to come to this floor and this um, this child's pose position when I couldn't sleep. And I used to do the breathing exercises from the app that they invented for the war veterans. <laughs> And uh, sometimes I couldn't, uh, I just couldn't hold on to my focus on the numbers. I think there's a total of eight breaths, but I'd get to four and my mind would be off. Um, this is the time in the year where it where we need to make some space for grieving that's the pipes Space. How do we make space for grieving? I don't know. Something about uh, checking with people who lost people or who lost things. I don't know. I'd hope that. I hope that people ask me, how is it going with the loss? I remember um, I lost a pregnancy six years, maybe, and uh, I learned there that you needed people. I needed people to ask me about it a long time afterwards. So I try and remember to do that when people have lost people. Because there's always lots of people around you to begin with. And then as time goes on, um, yeah, it kind of fades. So, yeah. The, the word grief has to do with weight and burden. And I think It's a good description of what it does for me. But I think that grieving is something that we have to do. And whenever I'm grieving, I'm always st struck by the idea that there is only more of this to come. And there's a sense that learning to grieve is a pretty important thing to learn. Because uh, losing stuff is just going to become part, part of the deal if I stay, if I get to stay longer than, uh, you know, yeah, uh, as I stay. So, yeah, um, I, I imagined grief as a, a land that you go visit, a strange land. And you go on your own because your land of grief is different to everybody else's. But if you can just have some people like who know that you're there and sort of checking in with you, <laughs> then you can get lost and get reoriented and do what you need to do. So company, company for people space for people to talk about grief when it's all about gifts generosity towards grief towards loss and
company for people to be in the landscape of their own grief, whatever that is. I've got a very deep, deep voice this morning. So that's what I wanted to talk about.